So, there has been an awful lot of hype surrounding an old Black Armory revamp of the Galliard Solo Auto Rifle as of late. So naturally, a lot of players are currently grinding out forges and saboteurs in the hopes of landing a sweet roll on this gun. But is it really worth it? Should you really be spending your time farming for this in old content? Well, honestly, yeah, kind of. This thing sorta of wrecks. Thanks to the recent auto rifle buff bringing the 600 RPM archetype to the forefront, this gun has been given an entirely new lease on life, making it kind of a monster, even in the hands of a lesser skilled player in the Crucible. And in this video, we're going to be talking about why. Now, first off, how do you even get this thing? Well, the Galliard 42 XN 7568 is a revamped black armory weapon that can only really drop from two sources. Forge saboteurs and patrol zones on Nessus and the EDZ, or as a completion reward from Black Armory forges themselves. Generally, there are about two optimal ways to farm for this weapon. Number one, head to the Artifacts Edge on Nessus, sit there and wait for a Forge saboteur to spawn, since the gun can generally only drop from them. They usually spawn at around the same time public events do. Then, if you don't get a drop, hop onto your sparrow and quickly head over to the hollows area where you can usually catch a second saboteur for a second chance at the drop. If you finish that one fast enough, you can sometimes fast travel back to the artifact's edge and find another forge saboteur to take down. And basically, you just bounce back and forth between those two areas until you get a galliard to drop. So that's one way to get this done, but I would actually just recommend that you run forges themselves. The chance of getting a Galliard from the saboteurs is really low. They have a huge loot pool, half the time they're only going to drop you blues, and when they do drop you a legendary, it's a very small chance of being the Galliard, and it's a very, very small chance of being the Galliard that you're looking for. Me personally, I had way more luck just running forges than I did actually catching saboteur spawns. I would recommend that you just hop into the Forge playlist and upon successful completions, you generally get a legendary drop, oftentimes being one of the Black Armory variant weapons themselves. And when I say uh, completions there, you do have to successfully complete the Forge. You can't just AFK farm it and fail it. But by doing this, I was able to play for about 45 minutes before getting two of these auto rifles to drop. So I would definitely recommend you just do that. Just head into the Forges and go get those successful completions. Additionally, of course, if you played in Year 1 of Destiny 2, you might have gotten the normal legendary variant of the Galliard 42. You can just pull that, it's got a static roll on it, but you'll be able to get the old version of the gun that way. Though, of course, it's going to be lacking some of the fantastic perks on the Black Armory variant that make this weapon great. Now, onto the weapon itself. The Galliard 42 is an adaptive frame auto, meaning it fires at about 600 rounds per minute, similar to guns like the currently dominant Hardlight. It's definitely the best archetype for autos in the game right now. The scopes I generally bounce between are the SPO-52 Ocular, which gives this gun a massive plus 12 to range with a large boost to zoom, I think it's like plus 6 or something like that, and the SLO-10 Post, which gives only about a plus 9 to range, so that's still pretty good, but it also boosts the weapon's handling. Zoom and sights are pretty important on auto rifles, since you don't want to have too much zoom and really chunky reticles, as that can make target tracking a lot more difficult. But I found a lot of success with those two sights, and the extra range is really appreciated. Next up, of course, comes ricochet rounds, which boost both range and stability. After that, we've got what I consider to be the most important perk on this weapon, Dynamic Sway Reduction, or DSR for short. Have you ever used an auto rifle with DSR? Did you feel like it was a little bit stickier than others when continuously firing? Well yeah, there's a reason for that. When holding down the trigger, this weapon's sway reduction system boosts accuracy over time, meaning as long as you keep firing, this weapon's accuracy will be increased. This is such an amazing perk on auto rifles because it essentially eliminates the randomized aspects of bloom on autos. When you're firing normal auto rifles without DSR, your shot spread is eventually going to get wilder and wilder the longer you hold the trigger thanks to Bloom. It essentially becomes much harder for you to control. But with DSR, that spread pattern stays tight, ensuring that bullets go exactly where you point that barrel. Basically, long story short, this perk turns off Bloom. It's great. Next up, I've got Kill Clip, where of course reloading after a kill increases weapon damage. 
It's a fantastic perk in both PvP and PvE, though I would have loved to have something like Rangefinder here for that additional accuracy that comes with range. Thankfully, the sight rule I got on this covers some of that range stat a little bit, and we'll be talking a bit more about why that's important a little bit later on. My masterwork is a handling masterwork. Of course, there I'd probably prefer something like uh, stability or range, and I would definitely recommend you use something like a counterbalance mod to round out this weapon's stability. I do believe with a counterbalance mod, it brings the recoil direction for this weapon up to 85, so definitely recommend that there. So, once you've gotten your hands on this thing, you're going to notice that it's basically a laser beam. The Galliard is absolutely a dominant force in the current PvP environment, able to compete with monsters like the Hardlight and the Surus regime pretty comfortably. With a 0.7 second base time to kill, this thing can absolutely shred guardians like nothing, hitting for about 25.2 damage for crit shots and about 15.75 damage per body shots at ranges that will really surprise both you and your enemies. It's crazy. This thing absolutely invades pulse rifle range, and it does so reliably. You're going to see really consistent performance across the board with this weapon. The stability and reliability of this thing is incredible, due in large parts to the de-bloom effect from dynamic sway reduction and the scope combinations that can roll with it. Basically, between the mixture of having that extra range and zoom from some of those Soros-based scopes with the removal of the bloom effect via dynamic sway reduction, you're going to notice a lot of consistent hits on enemies in PvP. That's actually what puts the Galliard on a legendary pedestal separate from some of its other adaptive frame brethren. Guns like the Gnawing Hunger and the Arc Logic both have stats that are largely beyond that of the Galliard itself, but they lack access to the zoom, accuracy, and range boost of the Suro Sites as well as access to dynamic sway reduction, and it's that combination of perks and abilities that gives rise to Galliard's real strength, its sheer consistency in the Crucible. This has been the most consistently performing legendary auto rifle I've used since Season 10 began. I've played around quite a bit with the Arc Logic and the Gnawing Hunger, you know, trying to find legendary alternatives to some of the exotics out there. But neither of those really stand up to things like Hardlight and the Suros Regime, whereas Galliard performs well against both of those options, offering consistent, long-range performance similar to that of the Hardlight, but without, of course, taking up that vaunted exotic slot. The Galliard just has that perfect combination of great perks, great sights, and an archetype with a really competitive time to kill, making it a rock-solid choice for any auto-rifle enthusiast out there. A lot of you Guardians probably got a drop of this over a year ago and sharded it since auto-rifles at the time were worthless, but for the few of you who held on, you've got a weapon capable of dominating in the Crucible right now. Whip it out, give it a spin, and let me know what you think. For everyone else, well... Time for you to hit up the forges. Remember, you're going to be looking for something like Ricochet Rounds, Dynamic Sway Reduction, and Range Finder. It's going to be that combination of perks that really shines on this weapon. Although, if you get something like Kill Clip, like what I got here, uh, you'll definitely notice it's still fantastic out there in the Crucible. The amount of effective range and accuracy you get on this is really incredible. Like I said, you're going to be competing with Pulse Rifles and some Scout Rifles with the Galliard 42 here. So it's definitely worth farming out if you've got the time. And I wish you Guardians luck in that. But that's it for this one. Be sure to leave me your roles and thoughts on this weapon down in the comments section below. I want to know how you Guardians are feeling about auto rifles as a whole, but specifically this weapon. Definitely. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.